So you hear Yeet and Grant just chatting as they're eating their hot dogs. And Yeet goes, what's going on, man? You look a little bit like, uh, like a little down, like from the first time I, I met you. You know, it's, it seems like you've been kind of kind of a little off. And Grant says, yeah, uh, yeah, ever since we, you remember the part when, when, when I went in the bear and I, with the axe? Oof, yeah, I remember that was fucked up. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, ever since that, I've kind of, uh, felt, or I guess not felt is sort of more of the thing. Like, I kind of just don't feel anything all the time. Like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm a, a, a person. Uh, but there are these, like, these little, these brief moments, uh, where something breaks through. Uh, 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 like when, when, when somebody hurts me or when I hurt somebody and I don't, I don't. It's this weird thing where, like, my brain... I don't like doing them, but it's, like, the only thing that's like, hey, you're still here. Uh, and, like, hurting somebody or killing somebody, it, like, just... It's it's bad. I, I, it's bad, right? It's bad. It's the thing we shouldn't want to do. Yeah, you don't... You shouldn't want to... That's... it's it's I, Sometimes we have to, but it's not a, it's not a good thing. Yeah, but it, it, it like, feels good to me in the moment because it just, like, it, it makes this, like, binary. Like, you're, like, you're here, you're not here. And if I could do that to somebody or if I get hurt, then it's like, I'm here. It's like this proof that I'm, that I'm still here and that I'm real. And tears begin to sort of stream down his face. And he's like, uh, wow, that's, that's, that's a lot. I'm, I'm really sorry. Have you, t- have you talked to anybody about this? I mean, there's just, there's nobody I can, uh, there's really nobody I can, I can talk to about this. The other kids are kind of, maybe Terry, maybe not. I don't know. What about your dad? Your dad seems like a nice guy. Yeah, no, he's, he's. My dad's a nice guy. He's really he's smart and he's strong and he's and he and he and he leads everybody and and uh, uh, but I, I, he's never whole time I've known my dad he's never he's never come off as like I've never seen him scared I've never seen him cry I've never seen him like he met my mom when they were in grade school like he just hasn't had the same kind of experience that I've had. He, he, he sort of got the thing that mattered the most to him early on in life. And then he just sort of, you know, uh, sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of, not, I don't want to say coasted because his life's been, you know, decently difficult, but like his dad was really good. And like, I just, I can't, I can't really relate to him. And it feels like, I feel, I feel like embarrassed, like so, to, talking about you know, this stuff. So at 17, he scratches his, uh, he scratches his cheek and he cocks his head and he says, okay, so when I was talking to Yeet the other night, he said something that I wanted to ask you about. He said that he was feeling like, uh, like, uh, like, like he couldn't feel anything, mm-hmm. like there was nothing. But when he was, when he was like in certain situations, he would feel something, and it would make him be like, "Oh, cool, I'm here, like I'm real." And that was uh, kind of scary to him, and he didn't. Uh, and he didn't really feel like he could talk to anybody about it because nobody else knew how it felt mm-hmm. to feel that way. And I was like, yeah, my dad definitely has never felt that way, I feel like. And like, have you ever, has that ever, I don't know, it's stupid. I don't, it, it, well, I feel, you know what, forget feel, it. No, I mean, to feel numb or or that you can't say anything to anybody? Be like, yeah, like there's not, like you're not there. Like you were there and now you're not. That's like a thing that Yeet has. Like, oh I'm yes, sorry. I have killed so no. <laughs> many people and demons, and I. L- Here's the thing, I love it. Oh. I love oh, it shit. so much. The killing. Oh. It's okay. like well. I don't know. Maybe you get this with soccer. I feel like maybe you do. I That's kind of why I'm worried about you. But like oh. when you're free, when you're like in the moment and re- everything's really stressful, all the anxieties of everyday life and all the worries you have. And the fears slash knowledge that you're a piece of shit who doesn't deserve to be happy. What? Like all that just kind of goes away when you're fighting and killing and it all just goes white and everything's so simple and it's so nice. And so it's really important to me. You got to do this big favor for daddy. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I don't want you to ever be anything like me at all. Okay. I'm a bad and broken and wrong and villain person. And it's important to me that you I can't pass that on to you, okay? You can't be anything like me. So you got to promise, don't ever kill anybody, ever. Don't see bad things. Yeah, I'm I broken will. and you can't. And tears oh. were streaming down his face like, don't be broken like daddy. 
sometimes I see how anxious you are and how worried you are. And I think you might be just like, we're not even blood related, but I just, I can see it happening. So do me a big favor and don't ever be like me and maybe don't love me as much as you do. Because I also don't just, that, but dad, no, that's bad. Hey, Scout, yeah. that's bad. Dad doesn't deserve that. Oh, that's it. I'm in danger because oh, there's an incursion what? point here and I might get killed, but I wanted to stay here to see you for what's probably okay, so going to be alive. the last time. And I'm kind of psyched that I might die No, because then that means I can't poison you with who I am. Well, you, so dad. that's great. Big high five, buddy. And he goes for a high five. I go for goes, a hug. Okay. He, you go for a hug and you move through him and his high five moves through you and he goes, oh, that's ah, darn. Dad, uh, d- Daddy, and, and I need you. You need to come back. Well, I'm going to save you. No, don't save me. I think I'm just save you go purple. I think Code Purple is better. I don't want you to come save me. I think this is, I'm realizing this is the ideal situation for me. 